National Educator. Hello, Lana. Welcome to today's uh, uh, lesson in physics form one. Today we are going to study about pressure in the subtopic pressure in solids, liquids, and gases. Let us look at what you need to achieve by the end of this lesson. By the end of the lesson, you should be able to define pressure. You should be able to state the SI units of pressure. You should be able to describe factors affecting pressure in solids, liquids, and gases. To start, something to think about. Why is it that it is easier to cut meat with a sharp knife than a blunt knife? You want to look at that? Often in the house you have knives and you prefer using a sharp knife than the blunt one because of reasons which now we are going to look at. Why is it that in a tractor or in tractors, the hind wheels are made huger than the front wheels? In order for us to answer these questions, we are going to study some activities. We are going to do some or carry out some activities that would follow. So we are going to link the word pressure with force and the area. Pressure is described physically, it's a physical quantity that compares the two aspects, that is the force or the weight exerted by an object on a given area. So, to define pressure, pressure is defined as the force acting perpendicularly per unit area. I want to demonstrate that using this object. If this is the object with the weight and this is the surface area, this object is going perpendicularly to the area. So the weight is acting on the area perpendicularly. So what this uh, tube or circular object is doing, it is applying pressure on that area where it is standing. So that is what we actually refer to as pressure. The weight of this over or divided by the surface area on which it is acting. So now think about the tractor. The tractor has a weight. The knife itself, you're using some force to cut the meat, and that edge of the knife is acting on a certain area. So, let's move on and see, because we want to look at how, why it is easier for you to cut using a sharp knife. Now, mathematically, we can express pressure as force in newtons, divided by area in meter squared. So, in this case, we are actually finding out what, is, what are the units that are used for measuring pressure. As we had agreed, units of pressure is a derived unit. Pressure units are derived. They are derived from the basic units. One of them is the mass, and when you combine mass, you get weight, and when you get weight, weight is equivalent to force. 